Because the world we live in is often one of violence in other countries, in our cities, sometimes even in our own homes, we are working as Dominican Sisters of Peace to work together with others to build a culture of peace. One of the ways that the Dominican Sisters of Peace have begun to connect with younger generations of women and possibly in the future with young men is through the area of peace leadership training. It was an idea generated by our Ministry of Welcome Vocations team and Sister Pat Tuhill was our convener for our think tank experience which happened in February of 2013. She brought together sisters, associates, uh, women of varying ages to talk about how we are compassion and help build peace and justice in our world. The pilot project for this program was a participation in a class at Ohio Dominican University. Dr. Julie Hart, Associate Professor of Sociology and Peace and Justice, taught the class. This has been the class in my career where I laugh more and I cry more. I mean, as I hear students share their stories and their prayer requests as we pray together. Um, so I've experienced more um, extremes of emotion. I said yes to this project because I really am interested in becoming a peace leader. Um, I think it's very important for all people to realize that they all have a role to play in bringing peace to the world. The purpose of the project was to introduce women or continue their current understanding of how to become a builder of peace in their own life, in their family life, in their community. We hope as Dominican Sisters of Peace to interact with these women and both learn from and teach some of the skills and knowledge that we have developed ourselves. We asked the students what they saw the purpose of the class to be. To start influencing more young women to be peace builders. To nurture in people what it's like to be a leader and especially a leader for peace. To really encourage young women to build a foundation of peace with faith and with inner peace in themselves and to be able to take that peace and make positive change throughout the world. I think it is important for women to realize that they can be leaders and to know the steps they need to take to become the best leader they can be. I keenly remember one of the participants at the Think Tank experiencing asking the rest of us to think about what violence have you experienced in your own life that might be inviting you to become a peace builder in your world? As a history major, there are areas of violence that have really affected me and have encouraged me to take um, stands against violence. And so learning about wars and violence of the past has really encouraged me to work towards peace now and become an advocate for peace. For 30 minutes each month, each student had a sister or associate mentor that they could connect with in the area of their field of study if that was possible. The sister mentorship relationship has been fantastic for me. My mentor was Sister Margaret Ormond at the Mother House and she is one of the most amazing women that I think I've ever met. Seeing her and her experiences and learning from her really gives me um, kind of hope for the future and kind of pushes me to emulate her and kind of follow in her footsteps and become a great peace leader like she is. This project has been helpful to me and to my family. Um, it's brought me closer to my faith, um, brought me closer to the people that I'm around, um, and it's just made me a better person inside and outside of school. Students might want to take this class because of the direct application that it has in their lives. Part of the program involves um, activities that the students get involved with and one of them this year was on human trafficking and they wrote letters to have the sisters and the communities um, sign them and send them to encourage the house bill to be passed. I would say it's different from normal classes at Ohio Dominican because we much more intentionally incorporate prayer and spiritual disciplines. You're surrounded by other beautiful women and you're actually 
building new relationships and networking and you come across different women that you may never speak to. I would recommend this program to everybody. Um, there's so much to get out of it, so much fun to be had, and it's just, it's a fantastic experience. Um, I think that women, young and old, never get that opportunity to have that empowerment, and this is a perfect opportunity for them to feel empowered um, and learn how to be a leader in every situation, whether it be something that it would be confrontational or, or could be considered violent, to something as simple as just helping another friend. So ideally, what I'd like to see is for more of the Leadership for Peace students say, you know what, I'd like to have a career in peace and justice, in social change organizing, in doing mediation work around the globe, in using nonviolent principles that Gandhi and King used to change very difficult situations of entrenched institutional systemic uh, violence. Beep, beep, beep.